What's up? What's up, you guys? It's your girl, April, and we are in the kitchen, baby, making cornbread dressing. I hope everyone is doing well and having a great day. Y'all see it. You see it, baby. Let's get into this video. In my bowl, I'm mixing two cups of flour with three cups of cornmeal. I like to just stir that up for a moment. And I use two jumbo eggs. And if you don't have the jumbo eggs, I would use three regular eggs and then stir that up as well. You want to give that a good mix and then I'm going to add in two cups of water. Make sure you mix that up really well and make sure it's at the right consistency that you're looking for. I'm adding in another cup of water because we want to make sure that we have the right consistency going on with our cornbread. I added in another cup of water just to make sure the cornbread was right where I needed it to be. And now what I'm going to do is season up my cornbread. I like to season in layers. I didn't add any sugar inside the cornbread when I was mixing it because I don't like sweet dressing. But if that's what you prefer, then you add, go ahead and add you some sugar in yours. I had some poultry seasoning that I added, black pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of Himalayan salt, sage, and of course we gotta have that tonus, baby, the tonus, gotta have it. The last thing I added was thyme. I don't know if y'all had a chance to see that. And then once you have all the ingredients that you would like inside of your dress, then just go ahead and give that a good, good mix. Now that is about what you want your cornbread dressing consistency to look like. And now I have my casserole dish added a little oil to it just to make sure that my cornbread doesn't stick. And I put that in the oven 400 degrees for about 25-30 minutes. Now that we have our cornbread in the oven, we can go ahead and prep our vegetables for our dressing. I have two tablespoons of butter melting down. I will be using an onion, a red bell pepper, an orange bell pepper, a green bell pepper, green onions, and of course I gotta have my garlic and celery. Now what I normally like to do is like before Thanksgiving or Christmas or any holiday, I like to prepare my vegetables like the day before. That way that'll save me some time in the kitchen. And let me reiterate, if I'm using something that you do not like, you do not have to use it in your dressing.
I like to dice my vegetables pretty much the same size that way to cook evenly and then once you get all your vegetables in the skillet and cut up just want to mix it up in the butter and let it saute I had it on low sauteing for about 15 minutes Our cornbread is done, 25 minutes in the oven. It doesn't have to be pretty because we're fixing to crumble it up. I removed it from that dish because you want to make sure that you have ample room to mix all your ingredients up in. Make sure you go ahead and crumble your cornbread, crumble it really well, get it all broken down. And once you have your cornbread broken down, you want to go ahead and add in all your vegetables that you had sauteing. And make sure you get out a good mix. Make sure you mix everything, get everything incorporated into your cornbread. once you have it mixed you want to go ahead and add in I had a can of cream of chicken one can and I used one can of cream of celery and you want to go ahead and mix that in as well Ok 
Okay, now we're gonna add in some more seasoning. Remember to be mindful of your salt. Season however you like it, season to your taste. Now once you have whatever seasonings that you like to use in your dressing, what I have here is my homemade chicken stock. Now you can use the ones purchased from the store, but I will have a video about, about my homemade chicken stock that y'all can check out. And you want to get that mixed in. And you want your cornbread, you want it to be moist, you don't want dry dressing, you do not want dry dressing. Again, no dry dressing, add that chicken stock. You want to just make sure you're getting a good mix on your dress and make sure that you're getting everything incorporated. Add more stock. You want to make it moist and make sure that it's getting mixed well. And what I like to do is I like to add a little bit more stock a little at a time, mix that in, look at the um, consistency of it, and if I need more stock, I add more stock. Now is the time that you add your meat. Whatever meat you decide to use, I used the um, chicken that I used when I made my homemade chicken stock. But you can use a hen, turkey legs, whatever you prefer. I just want to break the meat down, remove the skin, and then you want to chop it up and then add it to the dressing. And I used a total of five leg quarters in this pan of dressing. I'm gonna add in more chicken stock because remind you, you want that dressing moist. We don't want dry dressing, keep it moist. And that chicken will soak up some of that stock, so you're gonna need that stock. Yes, this is the consistency that you're looking for when you're making your dress and make sure that it's moist. You have everything incorporated into it. You're gonna bake it in a 400 degree oven for about 45 minutes uncovered. And you make sure you taste it before you bake it to make sure it's seasoned according to your liking. 
our dressing is done you guys i did hit bra for a few moments just to get it brown on top but look at that homemade cornbread dressing Yes, dressing, dressing, dressing. It's nice and hot out the oven, moist. Make sure you don't bake it too long because you want to keep it moist. Hope y'all like this video. Like and subscribe to my channel. Y'all know the vibe. Be blessed.